Oh, there we are. That's good. That's good. Get onto the bus now. For now, let's just use this iron bar and mount it as a new schnozzer for our car. Okay, this is the real... Re are you actually serious right now? Um, I feel like I ran the wrong way. Let's... <laughs> Hey guys, Treeburg is here and welcome back here to The Long Drive. So in the last episode, we ended up at this diner and this diner had a lovely looking bus for us. And this bus will more than likely be the home that we are going to be bringing onwards in our adventures because, well, we've had the Blue Thunder over here for quite some time. But sadly though, Blue Thunder was supposed to be replaced the last time we were at a stop. And where's the road at? Oh, it's out there. Good. So I think it was somewhere thing along the lines of down there. Now, since that wasn't really an option because we were missing some parts in order to actually grab that old car and, and bring it with us, well, then uh, the yellow thunder here... Wait, no. Blue thunder, yellow lightning. Let's... Yeah, that's that's good. But yellow lightning, nevertheless, is going to be our travel or companion, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be our companion for our future travels. But in order to actually be able to use this, well, then we got to prep this thing so that it is ready to hit the roads together with us. Right now, it's not. So let's get it prepped. Now, we have an absolute bunch of things in here that we want to bring for our future ride. And one of those being that we have to refill the truck or... Wow, what a... The bus. It's not a truck. It's a bus. But we have to refill the bus with fuel. And luckily for me, well, we got 25 liters of diesel right here. It was one of the main concerns when I left you guys last time that we wouldn't have enough diesel to actually run that thing. And I was thinking about grabbing the engine that we have in our current car. But since we just found all of this diesel, I don't see any issues with just refilling this thing. So we're going to start out by just picking up all of this diesel and just get all of it in here. Luckily, that is is a very very quick refuel when we're talking about the bus and then i'm thinking that we probably want to keep this barrel just for now so i'm just going to put it in here and hopefully it's going to stay there it's more than likely going to spaz out the bus and the bus is going to flip over and we're going to die but at least for now let's just hope that things work out the way we want it to now i have this idea that we'll be able to hopefully grab all of our baskets and stuff here and just bung those on here nice and easily that was not nice nor was it easy. We should be able to do this. That's almost perfect. <laughs> I'll take that for now. And then we also have to just rip off some of the old tires from our current car because those tires are at least seemingly in a better shape than what we have on the bus here right now. Now, since we go into the bus, I don't think we need these tires anymore. So I'm just going to take those out and I'm going to bring all of these over here. And you know what? It's probably rather boring. Oh, God. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yes, it is. Wait, I'm not reloaded. There. Now I'm reloaded. Oh, God, please die. Okay, I'm gonna run. I think it just ran into the bus and killed itself. Oh, yes, it did. Perfect. Oh, oh, my God. It's right there. I wish I knew how many shots it takes. Okay, that was four. So I don't know if it's just always four with this godforsaken pellet gun that is awkward to reload. It worked out at the end, though. So let's just continue moving all of our stuff here. So I managed to somewhat get the bus up and running. At least now it should be full of all of the things that we need. I gotta remember to close all of these. I have no idea why I cannot close this. There we are. Perfect. And then we're also just gonna jump in here and in here. Well, we want to remember to close both of these and close that one as well. And there we are. So you're thinking, well, Treeburgers, are you done making the bus look good already? And the answer to that is nope, not at all. But we got to get this thing fired up because I just had the greatest idea ever. And instead of telling you what that idea is, I'm just going to start by running the bus over here. And then hopefully we can just cram that thing in about here. And then with the bus parked here, we're going to take this car right here. And we're just going to yank the handbrake and give it a little push. Now I just need to see here because I don't think we can necessarily get it over the ledge there. But good thing is that we have a plank there that we can use as a ramp. But I just want to see what happens if we just try our best here. To just to push it a little bit back and forth. And just see what we can do because hopefully maybe I'm thinking with a bit of luck here. We might be able to flip this thing. And through my many times of making these cars flip over as we drive. I don't know if it helps if we push it from underneath. I somehow managed to crawl underneath the car here. I'm not really sure how, but I'm thinking that might be what we need. Okay, apparently not. Let's just uh, <laughs> get back up. Right, so if you just quickly push this one away, then we're going to go ahead and just grab this plank right here. Oh, God, and don't lose the car while we do this. And then... 
down the plank goes almost perfect so i think we now have all that we need the only thing we need now is just to push the car down now my thinking in here is that we should be able to sit inside of it and steer it and then we go over this ledge we hit the roof of the the bus and then once we do that well i'll be able to yoink the handbrake and we're gonna stay pretty much perfectly in position now we just gotta keep on pushing here push 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 here we go that didn't quite work okay, let's try this instead oh there we are that's good that's good get onto the bus now i mean it's there I feel like with a bit of fine adjustments here. Come on, you good thing. I know you want to. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do me like that. No. That was not quite what I imagined when I said I wanted to bring this car. How good would it be now if we can just push the bus onto it just to make them combine into one piece? Or maybe even we can push it from down here. I don't think we can. Let's just try this anyway. Now, if only we could put some bag into... Oh, God. I don't even know if we're going to get that car out of there. I'm just going to let it stay there for now, and then we can always see if there's anything else we can do with it. Now, I just had a pretty interesting thought, so I'm wondering if we just try not to attach it to the car, but rather attach it to the bus, then... I don't feel like that quite did the job, but I'm also rather optimistic seeing. It actually somehow worked a little bit. Oh, there. Yes, I think we got the car wedged there now. If we then walk over here and we just grab some sleep before we do anything else, because I cannot see a thing when it's dark. Right, so what I'm thinking we can do now is just... Like, can you just get off? The Did I actually manage to catch a rabbit? this basket i think i did but i'm thinking if we grab these and we try to just attach these to the bus over here on this side then through the power of magic and a bit of luck i'm hoping that we get this car so stuck in there that it's just gonna be there with us now without destroying the game of course and that's gonna be the biggest challenge because things tend to get a little bit wonky by the time that we start doing a little bit more or asking a bit more from the game than the game thinks that we should ask from them See, a bit like when I try to put these into this basket and it's not really happening. So if I now go into the bus and we just turn on the ignition, we yank the handbrake, we start driving. Then, well, first thing first, I think I just saw a sponge flying through the air. And I think we're driving. Yes, we are. Oh, and there's a bucket. I need that bucket. So I'm just going to yank the handbrake again and get out of here. And the car is not attached. Well, that's a shame. I guess that didn't really work. But it's okay. We'll be all the cars. For now, let's just use this iron bar and mount it as a new schnozzer for our car. Because it looks good. It's not a car, it's a bus. Still looks good, though. Oh, well, hello there, green color. Don't mind if I do. Let's, um, let's try this. Are we gonna get a lovely mint-looking bus now? How good would that be? That is the most flat, disgusting green color I think I've ever seen. And I have so many regrets right now. I'm kind of hoping that a sponge will allow us to just make this a little less hideous. But we have to find a sponge. So the real question is, do we have a sponge in the kitchen? Well, no, we don't. Do I ever have a sponge right here? So my last result is just the fact that this bus has not been fully polished yet. And we just have to polish this a little bit more. Well... Nope. So we did just come across the most disgusting color, I think. Oh, God. Okay, this is the real... Re Are you actually serious right now? Um... I feel like I ran the wrong way. I also think they just both committed Sudoku onto our bus. Oh, yes, they did. What a be <laughs> beautiful sight. Okay, so choice number two is to go for one of the many other colors that we have in here. Because luckily for us, there are a wide variety of different colors in here. I was hoping for something just a bit more shiny than what we have right now. Maybe we need to give it some spray. Or maybe we just need to mix up some of this orange brownish in there. Let's try this one and just see what we get. Okay, so we're kind of getting a yellow now. And we're kind of getting an orange. Like, it's not orange-orange, but it is kind of orange still. It's better than it was before. I feel like that's the most important lesson that we can take from this. Even though it's still not perfect. I wonder what happens if we mix in some purple with this. It just gets worse the more we try. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one as well. So I think I saw red in here. That might be able to save it. I'm also just going to grab some spray here and then I'm going to put that on here. And I don't know if that's going to make it any more shinier if this is just game over. It's the shiniest we get. I think it is. All right. So if we just breathe for a brief second here, get back to the colors and then we try this one instead. Now we're getting like this very faded purple. But I think if we then mix in some dark colors, then maybe we'll get this sick looking midnight purple. Let's just try that.
That's not really Midnight Purple, is it? But let's not lose hope yet, because now we got the British Racing Green here, and I have a lot of faith in the British Racing Green. Oh, hello there. And then finally, if we just mix in some red here, and I know, I know, I'm just gonna end up messing it up, but it's gonna look so sick when we get the red in as well. My brain wants to say that we're back to the orange again, but... We literally just made our boss look like a huge shit. Okay, let's just paint it red and forget about everything else. I don't feel like I should be writing myself a mental note, just notifying myself that mixing red and green reach shit. But apparently I need to, because I somehow managed to forget that. Let's get back to refilling all of these baskets here, because we have a lot of them. But we don't have a lot of stuff in here. We have a lot of stuff in here, though, so I might as well bring as much of this crap with me as possible. I don't know how much of this we're actually going to be needing. It doesn't really matter either. The matter of fact is just that we need we need as much of this stuff as possible. We need junk. That's what the long drive is all about, bringing junk for the long drive. Now, a bus is not a proper bus until we have some passengers. So let's get some of those. I think we're gonna bring this guy with us as well. Good. Lovely. And I just now learned that you can pick up the arms and the feet and attach them. So I feel like we're gonna have some arms attached to the bus because why not? And then uh, I don't know where he's a barrel filled with 15 liters of blood. I don't know what we need blood for. Uh, I'm wondering if we can actually run our bus on blood. I'm very willing to find out. I'm just going to put the barrel there and hopefully it's going to stay there. It's more than likely not, but I still like the idea of it. So I want to just have a quick last look around this place. Oh, there's crowbar. We can definitely use that for something, I think. Oh, wait. Okay, so there's oil in that thing and then it blows up. There is diesel in that thing and then it blows up as well. Now, that's very interesting. I That is something I did not know. All right. Well, we're still learning here. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No. Go away. Oh. So I think that thing just died in the door. Let's... <laughs> I'm trying to figure what's happening here, but I just don't really know. This is an empty bottle. Good. That thing does not blow up. Well, all good things must come to an end, and so must this area. I want to do one thing before we leave, and that is not using that engine, because we got an engine over here, which is better, since it's full of stuff. It's going to drop that there for now. Then I'm going to grab the last of the baskets here, and just to push the engine with us just a little bit of the way over here. And we're going to grab this one. Perfectly symmetrical, just like we want it. And then... The last action is going to be grabbing this engine because it took us quite some time to find a use for the last engine that we brought along with us. But eventually we did find a use and that was what was important. Now, I know that there is a very, very high risk that this is just going to be slowing us down because the game does not like us to have objects in there. And this place is full of bunnies and I don't really like that anymore. So I feel like it's about time that we get into the bus and we start moving on. But hey, we did so much and to some extent so little today. I'm very pleased about the overall effort here. So I'm going to get into my bus and I'm going to be on my way. And now I'm stuck. Okay, now I'm not stuck. Now I'm stuck again. It's going to be interesting to see what we're like missing here. Oh, Something tells me it's this guy. If we just get him out of here and we just close this again. And then... And since I have absolutely no idea why we cannot drive right now, it's um, now a matter of just <laughs> emptying things until we find... So the only thing I can tell that we might be needing right now is more diesel. That shouldn't be causing whatever issues we're having right now. We got full tires. Oh, you see that it's like whenever we get too many refs, it just sort of s slows down. See? There. And then it just stops pulling for some reason. And I have no idea why, but if we just try to maintain minimum or medium refs, then... I think we should be able to accelerate here, so this is gonna be very tedious, but it's gonna be the way that it's gonna be, I think. I can't tell if we're just pulling wheel spin because sometimes this thing just go nuts and accelerates like no tomorrow, so I don't know if our bus is just partially running on steroids at the moment or whatever, and we're at the end of the day just pulling wheel spin. That might be the case. I mean, I honestly don't know. All I know is that we're looking fabulous and we got ourselves the bus. So until I figure out what's wrong with this thing, have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. See ya.